I know, I know. It's been a long time. Um, first things first, uh, I've been, it's uh, July 14th, 2019. First things first, the uh, reason why I haven't posted any videos was be, is because my MacBook that I bought in, I don't know, 2008, something like that, I was having some problems with it, so I had to do like a big update for it. When I did the big update for it, I came to the, to the grounds and I did some videoing, and when I started the process of downloading the uh, data from the computer, from my camera into my computer, that worked. Then when I went from my computer into iMovie and started to edit it and chop it up and make it all nice, um, I completed my video, I went to upload it, and I had no audio. I went crazy um, trying to figure it out. I'm not very computer savvy. I mean, I know more than, you know, I'm, I'm decent. I could I could figure problems out. Um, couldn't figure this one out. So, I uploaded a couple of videos from my phone, which worked, but I don't like working off the phone. It's too small. I don't have a tripod for it. Um, I don't like that I have to edit on on the phone. It's a little it's a little small um, So <coughs> I'm making this video in hopes that I could upload it onto um, YouTube using my wife's computer Which I did I did a test video on her computer and it worked um, So hopefully if I remember all my passwords and all the fucking pain in the ass remembering all these passwords um, I should be able to get this video up Anyway, um, so other than that's my computer issue. So last year I had my uh, I had a baby, and um, that uh, is great. You know, very very busy. Haven't been spending as much time um, up here as I used to, but it's all it's all good. I don't you know it is what it is. Um, so now that I got the chance, I'm going to hopefully kind of get back in the groove. Uh, maybe upload some videos and hopefully uh, you know it works out. So let me fix this tripod before the computer falls. Uh, before the laptop. Oh, fuck, what's this thing called again? The camera? Before this camera falls. So it's um, it's July 14th and uh, I'm turning over most of my clover plots. Most of my clover plots lasted uh, about four years. So this one I planted uh, Three years ago, it's very grassy, very grassy, but there's still a shitload of clover in it. Deer coming out. Um, every time uh, my dad comes up, there's deer back there uh, eating it. I just took a ride through just to uh, double check myself to make sure I actually want to commit to turning the dirt over. And I think it's time. Um, so I I had two clover plots go out, going. I had this one's about an eighth of an acre, and the one, uh, the bigger one, is about three quarters of an acre. So I guess in time, when I did my soil sample, I don't need to add any lime to this. Um, in the past, we've been having to add 1,600 pounds, uh, 1,400 pounds, 1,200 pounds of lime. This year, when I sent the soil samples to Whitetail Institute, um, came back. Uh, one of them is perfect, 6.5 pH. Uh, no recommended lime to be added. Another one, 7.0 pH. Um, it's it's higher than what uh, Whitetail uh, Institute thinks for winter greens and and pure attraction. But they said not to do anything to bring it down. So I'm not worried about it. The other plot is only 0.3 off from being perfect. All of these food plots that are are that I tested this year, all my for the future of this year were all clover so whether or not the clover did anything I don't know um, but I ain't complaining because spreading 1400 pounds and 1600 pounds of, of, of uh, lime is not is no joke um, so uh, I guess we can just get started so the only thing I'm doing in this video is just tilling it over so <laughs> Let me show you what we're doing here. So I'm tilling over this whole area right here. 
up into the up to the trees and then across so this is probably gonna be like total maybe maybe uh, a little a little less than maybe a half acre it's gonna be a nice little uh, nice little plot over here in this back section behind the home um, so let's get started and uh, I got a baby waiting at home so let's get going tractor still up and running still going good got my little county line uh, uh, tiller on it and uh, we're doing good let's get started right there alright so the first one is um, all turned over uh, turned over pretty good uh, as you saw there was a little bit of clover in it um, I got my bank for my buck with the clover. Uh, I can't complain. Uh, the only maintenance I've ever done was mow it. So, so that's a testament. Um, I mean, j without spraying it or you know picking weeds or anything like that, it it, it was here for three or four years. I can't remember exactly, but definitely three years for sure, maybe four. It's, it's, it hangs out, you know, it doesn't die off, it keeps coming back every year, it's, it really is a good product. So, what I'm going to do <coughs> this year, I'm going to go with an annual uh, here. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure which one I, I picked, either Winter Greens or Pure Attraction or Beets and Greens. I'm not sure what, what exactly, which, I sent it out to, oh wait a minute, I have it right here. It is. So this is the behind the house plot. Uh, for anybody who's watched my past uh, videos, uh, I'm against naming food plots, but for the sake of uh, soil samples, Whitetail Institute asks you to name the, your plots. So this is my behind the house plot. So behind the house plot, actual pH is 6.5. Desired pH for my two selected seeds, uh, which were winter greens and pure attraction. Uh, actual pH 6.5, desired pH 6.5 on both of them. Organic matter is 7%. Um, so the only, uh, it actually says over here, I don't know if you guys could see, uh, no lime recommended. No lime recommendation needed at this time. So, that's that. And I don't need much fertilizer either. Only 176 pounds of 3400. That's per acre now. So that this isn't an acre. So I maybe need maybe uh, maybe 50 pounds. 50 pounds of 3400. And another 50 pounds of 0060 for my winter greens and my pure attraction. They both require the same amount of uh, pounds to apply per acre. So this food plot uh, probably cost me with seeds and fertilizer $100, $150, maybe something like that. Um, the no lime is what's really saving me this year. Uh, it's such a pain in the ass. I don't, I don't record much when I do. Uh, the lime because it's like I'm working in a ball of uh, a cloud of smoke. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> uh, the pelletized one is a little bit more expensive. That's what you want to use if you're using a spreader. The, the spreader that we use is right here. The guns. We use the guns with shovels. So we just go for the cheaper stuff. The um, the uh, uh, what's it called? 
granular maybe or something like that. It's very, very powdery. Um, so when you spread it, it just like big ball of, uh, of uh, wine. Um, so again, here it is. Um, it's in the shape of an L. I don't know if you can see back there. It's kind of going behind our little garden area. Planted a couple of chestnut trees a couple of years ago. Uh, and it works its way back in this way. Uh, last, uh, not last year, uh, four years ago, I planted pure attraction in this very spot, and it exploded. It was, I, I have a video on that. Um, very, very, very good. It came out very good. The following year is when I put my clover down, and that lasted. So I'm pretty happy with the way it turned over. Everything looks good so far. Um, I saw a little frog coming out. Uh, and the reason why I waited till July of this year is because in the, like last month in New York I've always said frost seeding doesn't exist in New York. It's never like uh, a typical frost seeding scenario. It goes from winter to mud in New York. July comes, if you get a stretch of hot weather, the ground will dry up. I came here in March because I wanted to start the whole process, but it was a little early anyway. And I would walk the clover right here, right right here. And I can actually hear the water running into in the clover. It was a nightmare to walk through. I had to wear my, my muck boots. Um, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta adapt. I mean, it's no big deal if you're a few days later than recommended. Um, it, the important thing is actually getting out trying. You know, you wait. My, these seeds don't have to go in till till from July, all the way I think until the end of August. So I'm I'm good. And the fact that I don't have to spread lime, I'm even better. Um, so that's it. This is the first one. We got the first one done. We got two more to do like this, and then that's going to be um, the first time turning it. Now I plan on turning this over again in about four weeks. Um, at that point is when I'll add the fertilizer, and then. Um, Let's see, no, I won't add the fertilizer. I'll turn it over in about four weeks again, and then a couple of weeks from that, I'll add the fertilizer, turn it over, and then just seed it on top, drag it, and pray for the rain and pray that everything works. Um, so let's get started on the other one. All right, so we're at the second food plot. Uh, ran into a little problem, uh, my own fault. So, as you guys know, uh, I like to use a tiller. I do have a two-board plow, um, you know, that flips the dirt over. I just don't, I just like to use the tiller for whatever reason. Anyway, so, this is me being lazy. I was tilling, tilling, tilling. I started to hear tapping, tap, 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 as as the tiller rotated. Uh, a piece probably maybe a, another half of this one was wrapped inside the gear. So I had to uh, stop, get a strap, tie it around, hook it up to a tree. The whole thing took about 45 minutes so I wasted that time. All because I didn't want to throw this thing out when I didn't need it. Um, this is actually the second one. This one didn't get caught. I heard it banging in there. Um, so I just got out, hopped out, and grabbed it. So, there you go. So this is my second plot. <clears throat> this is also going to be an annual. This is a fun little area. We're doing it, uh, I'm doing it between the, the apple trees. It's kind of uh, odd shaped. This is how it is. It's going to be coming up, wrapping around. I tilled it already around the trees and back, uh, you know, almost almost circular. Uh, for anybody wondering, maybe uh, um, Prof Kent could uh, explain why another year no apples on these trees. I'm starting to think it was a waste of time planting these apple trees. It's a long investment without any uh, uh, profit uh, for it. The wild apple trees do have some apples on them, um, so you know I don't understand why every year these trees never, never get apples. So anyway, here's food plot number two. 
Full plot number three is going to be uh, back this way, kind of coming around the end, coming around this way. Uh, and that's going to be it for this year. It's going to be just three food plots. Next year, these are all going to be turned over to Clover. Uh, next spring, as usual. Let's get started on number three. Wow. Okay, so. Third plot is till. So I like the, uh, oh my god, my truck is moving. Give me a second. Ugh, fuck. Feel good when the tractor wants to walk away. Anyway. Third one is tilled, so the plows are good, but I mean the tiller really just doesn't knock it on grass. Um tractor's, tractor's walking away again. Walking away. Let me put this there. Okay, put this over here. All right. So, uh, so everything is tilled up. Uh, the first round of tilling is done. So. I mean, it really kind of takes everything out, roots and stuff. Some of it stays in, but I'll get it on the second round. I mean, this is what I want. Pretty much right down to the soil for the most part. So that's that. So this is the first time we're tilling it. And uh, in a few weeks, I'll come back, till it one more time, not put anything. Then. Uh, uh, maybe the third week of August, around there, I'll come back, put whatever little bit of fertilizer is needed, and put the seeds down and, and drag it. And that's it. So, that's what we did today. You know, about, uh, I don't know, three hours of work. It's going to be this little area right here. Pretty much to the edge of the, of the wood there. Come back around here. So this will be all browned up in the next few days, especially with all this heat. And that's it. So let's see what happens. I hope I can post this video. I really do. Um, um, that's it. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.